Here's a character you probably thought I would never end up doing, Rocket Raccoon. He's affiliated with the Guardians of the Galaxy. He is a genetically engineered animal created for the purpose of entertaining and protecting the crazy people of Half-World, a planetary asylum. He's had plenty of adventures. He would eventually be imprisoned by the Kree, according to Rocket, under false pretenses. But the thing is about him is that he has tactical skill and proficiency with firearms. That's kind of the main thing he shines at. When he finally did become a guardian, he was tasked with taking down Ultron and the Phalanx who were terrorizing the galaxy. He would join Star-Lord Guardians after Ultron was defeated, blah, 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 helping him protect the galaxy from cosmic threats and going on space adventures, that type of stuff. I can go into more of his history. I might do that later, who knows. But yeah, before I go any farther, Thank you all that have donated to the channel. Rocket is a raccoon, right? But he's genetically engineered, so he isn't just your normal average raccoon. So he's physically stronger than what you would consider an average raccoon, I would say. And he's pretty nimble, wouldn't you say? Like the time he was still being crushed by debris with no damage. That time he beat up armored guards with his physicals, like, like, yeah, his little small self is that physically strong. Let that sink in. He takes out metal drones and stuff like that with just straight punching power, skills, speed, agility. He uses the staff this one time. He's got skills with a staff, can take out people with, or goons with the staff, fast enough to dodge gunfire. This is a common thing Marvel characters do. He has fighting speed, physically strong enough to beat up this alien that's way bigger than him. It's large, you know, just, you get an idea. Is that Zimnu? But that's none of my business. He took this beating. Ate those hits and caught the attack in the process. Sent them flying, showing that he's not just a skinny old raccoon that can't defend himself. Pretty decently long panel, as you can see. But yeah, he can defend for himself. This is him without his weaponry, even though the weaponry is what he shines at. Tell me how this is possible. He deflects like this little missile with a wrench. Let that sink in. How? Also occasional fighting speed. He also knows how to use swords. <laughs> Takes out a monster with swords. Oh yeah, by the way, he's a friend of Groot. They're really close friends. Scratched up his alien's face this one time because he has claws. Uses bottles to the face on plenty of occasions. Fighting different folk. Fighting with the guardians and stuff. Very agile. Look how he leaps around the battlefield. He's pretty tough. He got thrown really hard by Nighthawk, but he was okay. I mean, he survived the energy blast from like Ultron Warlock this one time. Yeah, there plenty of occasions fighting him. Ultron and Warlocks and different adventures, you know. He can sense real good, like he detected water. Notice how he says here, sniff water. No, those pipes carry water. Yeah, he can sense real good. More occasion of him smelling. He has enhanced hearing. He beats up these little clown bots with his straight up fist. Endures his laser in this you know scuffle here he was fine after he got hit with like an explosion like his carriage got hit with an explosion small explosives on many occasions he has an enhanced sense of smell just know it so basically that scene in guardians of the galaxy of him doing this was pretty freaking accurate like that that was accurate to comic lore i would advise you not to sleep on his raw skills though like he's skilled enough to evade fire while he's riding motorcycles yeah he can ride bikes and stuff so yeah he's just skilled when it comes to his gear and things and just being able to ride things he can like, skilled pilot too like the time he pilots his ship and evades gunfire stuff like that and he's an expert at escaping prisons might i add kind of similar to the movies so hey ego prison debt rocket raccoon showed this already this was the prison break that had a lot of his feats in it if that makes sense. Take it. Oh yeah, giant monster. Sword or leave it. Skills flies away. They even state that he has a marked degree of expertise in handling of heavy ordnance. He's good at using big weapons, you know. Using skates. Yeah, <laughs> like literal skates rolling around and pistols. He puts in work. Taking on bad guys like this. His weaponry and tech is where he shines at. His spaceship, for example, supposedly called Rack and Ruin. He has like these rocket skates, you know, more tech. Can use the maneuverability in combat. Has like a laser pistol he uses like I've shown already. He owns two of them like dual wielding, of course, used this in combat. They can kill a Galadorian space knight with him. And several phalanx, like I said earlier. Like, drrr, he wouldn't be complete without grenades. They can create large explosions like that. This allowed Quasar and Warlock to defeat a monster. A epic. One could say he has gear that allows him to hang with the top tiers because he's physically not like a Silver Surfer or a Hulk tier or Adam Warlock tier, things of that sort. But look, check this out. These Cardinals of Truth can fight on par with Warlock and Drax, right? But yet, his guns can kill these said beings, if that makes sense. So he has weapons that allow him to hold his ground. His cannons have a stun option. 
just in case he doesn't want to just blow people away. Of course, he has a space helmet. You know, allows him, to, you know, because he's in space, right? Got to be prepared for space stuff. And of course, he has a jetpack on top of it, even though he has rocket shoes. Seriously, though, these large cannons with tons of blast power takes out monsters with an S, like obliterates them. These same monsters were giving Star-Lord and Blastar and Crystal some issues, showing that he can hold his ground, blasting them to smithereens. They've gotten in plenty of scuffles with Thanos, even though he was weakened here, but he holds his ground to help cause trouble to Thanos working together as a team, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy. He has this Rampart Arms Facet Cannon Cold Fusion, the 20 megawatt range, powerful enough to melt your face off. And they're talking to Thanos like this. They said he was allergic in this situation. They say he was weakened, you know. He be having some crazy looking tech. Like, look the way this junk look. Don't that look big? Let this sink in. His jet gliders fire missiles within missiles within missiles. Like, what? A missile fires more missiles. Like, let that sink in. Jet glider. Rocket is a beast. He even has a literal mech he can use in combat. But he abandoned it, of course. Not something he always has. But, yeah, just give you an idea of the stuff he has at disposal. Vehicles get disposed of with handguns. This little fish looking ship and helmet. Dodges gunfire because of combat fighting speed. Get knocked out. Straight up fist action. He has flying remotely detonated explosives. Transforming motorcycle jet pack thingy. Like, whoa, that's cool. Look at these techs. What is he, Iron Man all of a sudden? You can't have these type of gear and not have some type of electric elemental weaponry, right? Electric gun. He can even hide it in a small form to where, you know, it's really small. You can put it in his jacket. Has like this energy gun, like look at that blast. He has tech like a holographic space map. You, you need a space centric character, you gotta have stuff like this. Sonic gun, robot space sharks with Groot, like literal space sharks. Like look at this, a hammerhead shark in space, like what? He's very intelligent when it comes to ships and stuff like that. He can make ships undetectable, intellectually making them in a blind spot. Makes sense? When it comes to engineering, he was able to create his own cloaking device, like literally make it. We're in a cloak, made it myself to the rest of the Guardians. Might I add, he made it from scratch under fire. Like, let that sink in. He even states here, they can't hit what they can't hit. So he made this from scratch while under fire. Despite his jokey nature, he's really good with prep. Like, for example, hides a small piece of Groot in his mouth before getting arrested to help in the skate. Literally planning his prison break. They even state, this is quite the action-packed plan. This is not the first time of him coming up with a plan. He does it here, on Nowhere, fighting against Church of Truth. Literally explains his whole strategy here. Yeah, kabloom, instant loss of faith. Their belief evaporated and the power levels died right away. Sure, the planet was messed up with 9 billion people didn't get sacrificed for nothing. So I saved Moon Dragon and a planet. See, strategic, you know, so he be strategizing. <laughs> Uses his strategy to round up allies so they can play their part and play. Even Star-Lord got to give credit where credit is due. He even says, you got the best tactical mind I've ever met. He comes up with a plan to destroy Ultron Spire. He strategically combines Groot and Mantis abilities. It's their tier. Groot, he's been busy sprouting Mantis, is using her biopathy to turbo boost his cellular growth rate. With Groot growing at such a rapid rate, he filled a tenth of the structure, the superstructure. With the fact that he's flammable, it states here, his sap to make it ultra flammable, because if you remember, she's a pyrokinetic, in turn, turn him into a giant explosive. And when you see all those yellowish bubbles, all of that is Rocket talking about the plan, so he's the one doing all this strategizing. You see the yellow bubbles yet again, they're explaining what his plan was with Groot and Mantis, respect it. It's been stated that he has ridiculous instincts. Of course, you gotta have good instincts to be able to think of do new stuff on the fly and improvisation, right? That one time they used Blastar as bait, filled him with Groot Spore, part of the strategy, which allows Mantis to see the entirety of the Spire. All of this is Rocket's strategic thinking. Not to mention he chose Blastar because of the fact he can simulate death, supposedly. Hibernate and simulate death. That one time he utilized subspace rift to take out an enemy, it states here. The subspace rift generates a singularity blowback. We don't want to be in clear space, not this time. And if he wants to slow down the enemies, he can flood the room to slow down the enemies. Ha, <laughs> strategies. Yeah, he likes guns, big guns, and has a ton of guns. <laughs> like, let that sink in. For the most part, that's just about gonna do it. Physically, I would say he might be above normal humans when it comes to just physical strength because he is literally four feet tall and weighs 55 pounds. So he's way stronger for his size. But when it comes to just super soldiers like Daredevil and Captain America, I would say they're physically above him. But for the obvious reason, they're also way strong on what they look and they're super soldier tiers of the verse. Maybe if Rocket was the same size of them, he might have strength near them. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't say he's that far behind. I, I do think there's a significant gap between Rocket and super soldier tears in the aspect of physical 
Now, weapons is a whole nother thing. When it comes to weapons, he can jump tiers. His weapons can harm beings that the Guardians fight. Like, even characters like Thanos, his mechs, or even a weakened Thanos, automatically, I would say, puts him, puts his gear in those powerhouse tiers. But because he has to be able to hold his ground with the Guardians, and they fight in space cosmic threats. So he has to have something that allows him, not to mention his tactical genius and stuff, helps give him an edge as well, and all the things like that. But what do you guys think? Post your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. How strong do you think? rocket is how strong do you think his gear is what is your favorite piece of gear for rocket here's rocket's power grid on marvel.com not saying this stuff is bible but just something so you can look at he's literally four feet 55 pounds they have a strength at a two speed at a two intelligence is a three fighting skills is a four you know so not too flashy on marvel.com this is what they got to say about him as the weapons and tactical expert of the guardians of the galaxy rocket risks his high to defend the cosmos he even states here genetic alterations received several genetic alterations that gave him the ability to speak and walk on his rear legs as well as capacity for complex thought and understanding mastermind is a mastermind computer whiz thief and escape artist his brilliant mind gives him the Capacity to break into or find his way out of any given location, making him a vital and cunning member of the Guardians. And he's also a superior marksmanship. He's best known for his duration and mastery of over-the-top firearms and deadly weaponry, often seen wielding guns bigger than he is. Heightened senses. Despite his genetic alterations, this Guardian of the Galaxy maintains all of his natural abilities of a normal Earth raccoon, including strong sense of smell, hearing, agility, as well as heightened vision. This kind of backs up what I said earlier about Rocket being below Super Soldier Tears. Captain America's strength is a 3 and Rocket's was a 2. So that's why I said that. You know, it kind of adds up. You know what I mean? It's also cool that he's teamed up with the Hulk before. <laughs> Don't lie. There's even a time he worked with Tony Stark because Tony Stark can't be contained to only Earth. And of course, they were great buddies when it comes to tech. Like, look at this beautiful looking gun. Respect Rocket Raccoon. Where do you think he belongs? He's a helpful asset in the Guardians, I would say. But... Check out those playlists and check out the channel more. You might like what you see here and hit a like on the video if you enjoyed yourself and subscribe if you would like to. But I'll see you guys later. Respect. Bye.